On the 604th day of the war in Ukraine, the fighting was concentrated in these areas. On Donetsk front, the Russian army continues the attempts to break through the Ukrainian defense by using massive armored attacks in hopes of advancing past the Ukrainian lines northeast of Stepove. Russian forces, likely influenced by the visit of the Russian President Putin on the headquarters of the Southern Military District in Rostov-on-Don, launched another massive attack in the northern part of Avdivka sector, hoping to secure a quick advance and finally break the Ukrainian resistance. As in many previous attempts, the Russian forces again chose to attack with tanks and BTR-82 armored personnel carriers from their positions in Krasnohorivka towards the railway in the vicinity of Stepove. However, looking at the geolocated footage published today by Ukrainian sources, this attack did not go any different than the other attempt. Early in the morning, a massive Russian armored convoy tried to storm the Ukrainian positions coming from the east and moving through the field of death with the aim of breaking through the Ukrainian line through the sheer power of this massive armored fist. However, this small field about 1.5 square kilometers between Krasnohorivka and Stepove has become a nightmare for the Russian forces. Only during their latest attack, the Russian forces lost no less than 17 pieces of equipment, including tanks, BMP infantry fighting vehicles, BTR armored personnel carriers and more. Since the start of the offensive only on this field, Russians have lost no less than 40 pieces of equipment trying to overcome the Ukrainian minefields and the precise artillery. And today it was no different. The Russian convoy advanced through the first covered field and immediately fell under heavy artillery fire, including cluster rounds. Seeing that their operation was turning into a suicide mission and seeing no way to advance through such a massive artillery barrage, the leading Russian units decided to take a quick turn, abandoning their plans to advance. During their retreat, the Russian convoy was sprayed with all types of artillery and anti-tank missiles. On the western half of the field, Ukrainian sources geolocated at least 13 tanks and armored vehicles which were destroyed or damaged by the Ukrainian defenders. However, other losses were recorded on the eastern part of the field near Krasnohorivka. Here, the Russian armored units had problems advancing because of the previously destroyed Russian vehicles which seemed to be scattered around, slowing and blocking the way for the new units to attack through this field. This gave the Ukrainian artillery the perfect conditions to strike and destroy this armored unit. At least one tank, two BTR armored personnel carrier and one MTLB armored fighting vehicle were damaged and destroyed. The Avdivka offensive has turned into a total failure to the point that more and more on-the-ground Russian sources are speaking up and telling the truth. A Russian officer reported that these massive attacks towards Avdivka were rushed by their generals in order to give a gift to President Putin upon his visit in the headquarters of the Southern Military District. He says that despite their efforts, they have not been able to advance and during the offensive they are suffering heavy casualties. According to him, only yesterday, Russian forces lost up to 40 armored vehicles during their attempts to achieve some success on this sector. Another on-the-ground Russian source informs that the preparations for this offensive were ongoing since the winter and if there is no success in the near future, all their efforts will be wasted. According to him, the fact that Ukrainians still have reserves to cover this front and have shorter supply lines will give them the edge in the long term. The Russian source claims that during 11 days of their offensive in Avdivka, Russians had lost no less equipment than Ukrainians lost during their entire summer offensive in Robotine. He also complains how the Russian command is simply throwing new battalions into pointless attacks, hoping that one of them will somehow get the job done. The Russian source considers these tactics as pointless meat grinders and calls for a different approach, similar to the Wagner tactics that were used in Bakhmut, basically a slower advance supported by massive artillery coverage. Friends, if you like my daily updates, I kindly ask you to hit the like and subscribe buttons, as this will greatly help the channel to reach a wider audience. That's all for today's update, thank you to my Patreon supporters, and have a great day!